Hey everybody, Doug here. I'm outside today. Um, I didn't do an update video on my switches, so I'll just go over that real quick. Um, I bought three switches, a momentary toggle, an on-off toggle like a regular one, and one with an LED in it. And as you see, one is missing because it hasn't arrived yet. But um, I got the LED one, which is for my fuel. Can't see it, there it is. For my fuel and the momentary for my start so I gotta wait for the last one to come in for my kill so I'm just using the rocker for now but um it works great I've used it a couple times already when I stalled and um as you can see Craftsman's a little muddy I went uh, riding a little bit earlier but I didn't get any video but uh yeah I got wet so um yeah today it's kind of more related I'm actually going to talk about this trailer and uh, this is a cheap husky that we bought a couple years ago probably like three or four and um, it's really shitty it's a uh, it's like 16th 1 16th inch steel and it was tack welded all together it was broken and beaten and um, eventually I'll do something with this I'll take the box off and I'll uh, do something else probably make a flatbed with stakes but um, for now, I want to talk about this tire. This is the original tire that was on here when we got it. The other one isn't, so we'll bear a tire. It was replaced. But the reason why it was replaced is because of these. And what this is is a bearing for um, the tire. And this is actually off this tire. And this is the only one that was intact. And I don't know if you can see it because my camera doesn't autofocus. But there's a ton of play in this because it's so worn out and um, the other one actually didn't even have any balls in it because uh, it wore out so it's just you know the inside piece and the outside piece so I found out a great way to uh, replace it so that um, they won't wear out as fast and that is using these these are the uh, bushings off of a uh, craftsman front end uh, it's a three quarter inch board it's one and three eighths outside roughly and um, if you have a husky trailer like this, a lot of them have a 3 8 uh, solid axle shaft with a you know regular tire. So what I did is I popped out this one, which you know, just slid off, and the other one, the uh, outside part, was stuck on it, and I pounded it out, and I just put these in. And then I piped the inside full of grease, because there's no grease fittings, and put it back on there. And it uh, works a lot better. But I need to get a tube for it. But that rim, I can still use and it'll last a long, long time. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because I want to use it, obviously. I want to change it a little bit. But I want to use it for dirt because of uh, all the flooding that's happening in the driveway. So I need to dig it out of the neighbor's ditch and move it back up to where it got washed out of the driveway. And as you can see, there's a bunch of shit in the back here because of uh, our old computer hutch that we got rid of. I put it outside, over there where the tree is, I put it outside and it sat out for one night, and this was midsummer, it wasn't rainy or anything like that, it wasn't too bad, and what happened was it, it's just been used so much that it just fell apart when I tried to lift it and it broke into pieces. So I have some of them in there, some of them are right there, but I'm going to take all this stuff and I'm going to throw it back. So uh, I'm not going to video that because it's boring as shit. But um, I just wanted to uh, go over, you know, what I did yesterday and uh, this um, bushing idea. So I'll talk to everybody later. Keep an eye on the all-terrain laundry form, and yeah.